Emotions are complex, and science may not be able to understand them fully. In this video, I will present how emotions work from the perspective of the five movement theory in Chinese medicine. The central movement is the wood. It is associated with the Chinese medicine organ of the liver, which is in charge of emotions regulation. Try to imagine our emotions as a tree. Just like a tree needs to extend its branches, we need enough space to extend and express our emotions. Emotions and thoughts should be able to move and change freely. Chinese medicine does not see any emotion as fundamentally good or bad, but blocked and repressed emotions can create qi constraints which can lead to cardiac conditions, depression, asthma, tumors, etc. According to the five movement theory, fire is produced by wood. When blocked and repressed emotions create qi constraints, the pressure can lead to a rise of fire. Stress can excite the brain through the ascending reticular activating system which is good to keep us alert when danger is around, but can also cause agitation and insomnia. Rise of fire can also manifest in inflammation in the upper and superficial parts of the body, such as sore throats, mouth ulcers and skin rash. In Chinese medicine, earth is related with the digestive and metabolic systems, including the microbiome. In our tree metaphor, the soil is stabilizing the tree. Similarly, strong and efficient digestive and metabolic systems are required to keep our emotions stable. Research shows that gut microbiome imbalance, which can be due to unhealthy diet and antibiotics for example, can deregulate the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis and make us more vulnerable to stress. The five movement theory states that metal controls wood. Internalized rules and moral act in a way that is similar to cutting a tree with a metal axe. All these shoots and have-tos inhibit the natural flow of our thoughts and emotions and create constraints. Even worse, trying to control our emotions will only aggravate this constraint. From a five movement perspective, just as trees need water to be able to grow and expand, the liver, which regulates emotions, needs blood and essence to function properly. When we run out of blood and essence, which can happen due to overwork, chronic stress and aging, the liver finds it difficult to regulate emotions. This explains emotional irritability around the menstruation, childbirth and menopause period, which are characterized by a lack of blood and essence. To summarize, our emotions need to expand and should not be inhibited by our internalized rules. Otherwise, this could lead to constraint and fire. A strong earth and enough supply of blood and essence are necessary to keep our emotions stable. I am Johan Berlin, a clinician, lecturer and researcher in Chinese medicine. Please feel free to like this video if you did and subscribe to our channel for more videos on health, psychology and Chinese medicine.